Hello class, in this video I'll show you how to create this Apple logo. We'll use the Pathfinder tool as what I demonstrated in last video, uh, but here I'll show you something else. So let's start with the Anips tool, and let's draw a circle and hold on shift key so you can keep it as a rounded shape. And for the fill color, by default let's keep it as a blue. And then switch to the selection tool, and hold on option key and make a duplication. And you can move it horizontally, and if it is off, uh, you can select both of them and go to align, and align them through the center. So now we'll select both of them. Actually, I don't want the stroke uh, for both of them. All right. so now select both of them, and go to Pathfinder, and well, you light them together, so now it is one piece, right? And then we'll use the direct selection tool. So the difference between the selection tool and direct selection tool is with the selection tool, you will only be able to select the whole object, right? However, with the direct selection tool, you will be able to select individual vertex. Uh, with the direct selection tool, select these th uh, three points and move them down vertically. See the reference line? If you can't see the reference line, just go to view and make sure you check out smart guides. All right, so this is apple shape. Uh, however, the bottom, the top, it has a sharp angle, so we'll need to remove that. Uh, to remove the sharp angle with the direct selection tool, click on that, and you should see this small circle, right? And if you put a cursor on it, it has those, those smooth um, icon. So just click on that and bring it up. It will create the two vertices on the side and it will smooth this curve. Okay, so the same thing for the bottom. Click on this point and with the smooth tool, so if you click on that, see, it changed the one vertex to two vertices and it will smooth this curve. And for the leaf, we can use the circle. Uh, first one, we can make a duplication, right? And here's the overlap. So now we can select both of them and go to Pathfinder and divide. And then right click and ungroup, you should be able to select, uh, denate the other two pieces. And we'll have this uh, nib. And you can make it bigger. All right. So now select this nib and uh, rotate to the side. And then we'll make another circle. And for this circle, let's uh, change the fill color to maybe green, so we can make it more identical. And we'll cut through here. So select both of them, and use the Pathfinder tool, divide, right? And then right-click and ungroup, all right? And delete this one, and delete that one. So this is the Apple icon. And now we can fill it with the color. So you can use the rectangular tool. We can draw a rectangle shape and we can line them through the top and then just make a duplication All right and then make a duplication and then select all of them uh, pathfinder divide All right so now you know we can ungroup it and denate uh, these actual pieces and then we can select individual pieces and give them different color. Uh, for example, this one, I'll give it a uh, yellowish color. And this one, I'll give it a, a light blue color. And this one, maybe a uh, red color. Maybe a purple color. And this one, the bottom one, let's give it a the orange color and for the leaf let's give it a green color all right this is the way i would create the apple logo and if you want more details when you create a rectangular tool you can make it a thinner so you can make a more duplication here and assign more colors 